Hello everyone. This is Ashur Achbani. Hi guys. This is Jaran Raji. Uh, hello everyone. This is Sarsh Parekh, and today we are going to show you a project on microcontroller and its applications. That is Aquarium Control System on the Proteus software. So let's get started. So uh, this is the AD51 microcontroller at the center, and this has been uh, interfaced to a uh, servo motor and a power LED which indicates whether the microcontroller is on or not. Then uh, we've used a relay in order to turn the light uh, within the uh, aquarium tank, and also an LCD which is used as a feedback mechanism, kind of, uh, which will display what is exactly going on in the uh, aquarium system. We'll uh, give you a proper demonstration of the uh, schematic, and then we'll explain you how the uh, code of the circuit works. So let's get started. Now, as we can see here, the servo starts rotating, which indicates the feeding food mechanism is working. This servo has a range of 90 degrees, so that's what we are getting here. Here, the control uh, line is connected to the pin 2.0, and power and ground pins are also connected to the appropriate locations. This servo will rotate multiple times so that enough food gets fed. So here, as we can see, the LED blue that is connected to the 3.0 pin of the microcontroller is on. So it uh, generally uh, depicts that the microcontroller is on. And to the uh, 3.1 pin, we have uh, connected a relay circuit through a transistor. So basically, when the, the microcontroller is on and when high is provided to the pin, the transistor will act as a switch. So the uh, coiling in the relay circuit will be connected to the ground. So the mechanical switch in the relay will be attracted towards the coil and the bulb will be connected to the VCC and the bulb will glow to uh, basically uh, depict that the lights in the lights in the aquarium are on. And here is the LCD module. The uh, data pins of the LCD are connected to port 1 respectively. And the RS, RW and E pins of the LCD are connected to port 3, pins 5, 6 and 7 respectively. And VSS uh, is connected to ground. And VDD is connected to VC VCC. And VEE is connected to, the, uh, connected to the pin of the potentiometer in order to adjust the backlight of the LCD. So now let's see the code to understand the inner workings of this mechanism. All right, so this is the code that we have written in C for AT51 microcontroller. Here we need to include the reg51.h library for interfacing with AT51. This code is then copied into Keel MuVision software, which is then compiled to convert it into a hex file. And then the hex file is then dropped into the Proteus schematic to make it work with our mechanism. Here we have used the SBIT keyboard, which is uh, used to assign a port value to a specific label. So uh, the first line we have here is the control pin of the servo, which is connected to the zero pin of the port two. Then we have the base of the transistor that is connected to the pin one of the port three. Then uh, we have the RS, RW, and E, which are the LCD pins connected to the uh, pins of uh, port 3, that is 5, 6, and 7, respectively. Then uh, we have the delay functions defined here. So we have uh, defined for microsecond, millisecond, and for second. And we have uh, gained these values, that is 1, 1, 2, and 1,000 to get the calibrated results. Now on an uh, LCD, the LCD command function is used to uh, send any command to the LCD. And LCD underscore data function is used to display any data on the LCD. So uh, both these functions are similar, only the uh, difference is the R value of the RS register. So when we set it to zero, the, uh, it will uh, use the data lines to send a command to the LCD. And whenever it is set to RS, if, uh, whenever the RS is set to one, it will use the data lines to display the corresponding data on the LCD. So this is the LCD init function. And we've used, uh, we are using 
using the LCD underscore CMD function to pass a command to the LCD. So the hex, uh, the, we are passing hex numbers to the function. The 38 uh, hex is used for selecting the two lines of the LCD. 0F is used for turning on the display and the cursor blinking. 01 is used for clearing the screen. And 81 is used to bring the cursor to position 1. Now, uh, these are the uh, next you can see that uh, there is a display string function which is basically used to display any string uh, on the LCD. First, we define three strings that we are going to display on the LCD. First one is feeding food, second is lights are on, and third is lights are off. All three of these are saved as arrays of type unsigned character. We are using unsigned character to save on the space that is used in the memory. Then we are also declaring L equals zero and int I. I is for iterating and L equals zero is also for iterating through loops. So on line 78, you can see that we've used LCD init function to, uh, so before displaying any data on the LCD, we, uh, we need to use this function. So, uh, so, so the first for loop is used to display lights are on screen and uh, we'll, give a de we'll give a delay of five seconds so that uh, it can be visible to the uh, viewers. Again, uh, to display another string, which is uh, feeding food, we'll use LCD init again. <clears throat> LCD init again, and then we'll again display feeding food and give a delay of two seconds. Now on line 91, we start with the program for the feeding mechanism, which is basically the rotation of the servo. So here we are declaring, the, uh, declaring a for loop for the number of times uh, to which the servo should rotate. So here the basic principle is that if we give a high value to the control pin of the servo for a delay of two milliseconds, it will rotate clockwise 90 degrees. And if we give it a high value of one millisecond, then it will rotate anti-clockwise to 90 degrees. So basically, by combining these two principles, we get one rotation. So first, we give the servo value 1, which is held for 2 milliseconds. This will make it go clockwise. Then we bring it back to 0 and uh, hold it for a delay of 5 milliseconds. So this is a falling pulse. And then, it will, and then the servo will be held in its clockwise position for 5 milliseconds. Then again, we give a falling pulse of one milliseconds to bring it back to its original position and keep it there for five milliseconds, which makes up one rotation. This is then repeated for three times. So here on line 105, we have the LCD init function, which is used to clear the LCD screen. Then we have used the for loop that will uh, run for as long as the duration of the uh, length of the string so here the maximum length of the string is 16 so the for loop will run for 16 times to display the characters on the lcd screen then on uh, line 110 we have initialized the uh, variable name relay then uh, on line 111 we have used the delay function to uh, give a 15 second delay and when the relay becomes one then the bulb glows so this was all about our project on the subject microcontroller and its applications. And thank you everybody so much for watching.